So we'll be talking about codominance. What is codominance? It's when there are two alleles that affect the phenotype equally and separately. This means that there is not just one dominant or one recessive. They don't have that kind of relationship. There will be multiple alleles and that they can all be equally dominant. So they will have equal levels of expression. So first we have, in this case, it does not result to a blended phenotype unlike that of incomplete dominance. And it, one example is the human ABO blood type groups. So in a way, there is no recessive blood type. More or less, they will have equal opportunities to be expressed specifically for A, B, and AB. Now they all have at least three alleles, no A, B, and O. Like these are usually how they are expressed. IA is the allele for blood type A. IB is the blood uh, is the allele for blood type B. And then this small I right here will be the allele for blood type O. So these two are both codominant. IA and IB are codominant. They have equal chances of being expressed. And that usually this is determined depending on the uh, carbohydrates, the carbohydrates found on the surface of your red blood cells. So iba-iba yung components per blood type. So if you are, this is blood type AB, this genotype right here. This means that you have antigens for these two types. So therefore, you don't necessarily resist. Your body does not resist or does not, uh, your body does not have a resistance to other blood types. So we tend to reject rather. We tend to reject blood types that are not compatible with us. While the I allele, the O allele is recessive to both. So mayroon siya recessive, but it's this one. But I A and I B will have equal chances of expression. So let's determine the different genotype and phenotypes of the blood types. So these are the phenotypes. We'll talk about the genotypes. Kung anong klaseng carbohydrate ang found dun sa surface of the red blood cells. And kung anong klaseng antibodies meron dun. So for the first one, these are the genotypes for blood type A. The type of antigen found there, the type of carbohydrate found on the surface of the blood cell is type A. So therefore, your body, your white blood cells, will have antibodies that will counter type B. So what does this mean? This means that you cannot donate type B blood to a blood type A person. Blood type A person will reject blood type B because the antibodies hate it. Your immune system will hate it. What about this one? You are blood type B. So therefore, these are your possible genotypes. If you would notice, you can carry an allele for blood type O. Your red blood cell will have type B antigens. And that your antibodies will be anti-A. So this means that you cannot donate type B blood to, or you cannot rather, you cannot donate type A blood to a blood type B person. This one is for blood type AB. These are the genotypes. Isang klase lang ang genotype for blood type AB. They will both have antigens for A and B. And... Because of that, they do not have any antibodies. So this means that you can donate any kind of blood the, to your blood type AB person. They are the universal recipient. For those having blood type O's, they have this kind of genotype. They do not have any antigens on their blood cells. And this means that they do not recognize any of those carbohydrates, meaning they have anti-A and anti-B antibodies. This means that you cannot donate blood type A, B, or AB to blood type O people. But they can donate to anyone. They can donate to anyone, but they can only receive blood from blood type O people. So you can also write the genotypes like this. Instead of using I, you can use O. So if you have this genotype, you can express it as this one. If you have B, you can express it like this, whether in ganyan and whatnot. So.
So the other case is multiple alleles. When we say multiple alleles, just like in, in your codominant sense, it's a bit parallel, there are more than two types of alleles. So here, you would notice how there are several types of alleles right here. How many do we have? One for the big C, two for the one with CH, three for the one with H, then four for the normal C1. Now, dito rin, they have actually degrees of expression. The big C would be the most dominant, while the small C, the one with four albino, will be the least dominant. Now, in this case, black is also called agouti, so these are the genotypes para may express sila. But, if there is an occurrence of a combination, like if ever heterozygous siya, the one with the stronger allele will be expressed. Black is stronger than chinchilla. Chinchilla is stronger than Himalayan. Himalayan has a stronger expression than albino. So, for example, let's try this one. I'm gonna write down. Um, wait. Let's say you have C, C, H, C, H. Although it has Himalayan, a Himalayan allele, it still has a Chinchillian allele. So therefore, since Chinchilla, according to the hierarchy, is uh, stronger, yung Chinchilla yung ma express. Let's just add the greater sign symbols here. Pretend as time forever. Anyway, so since in this genotype, this genotype right here, we have chinchilla. So therefore, chinchilla yung expression niya. What about this one? This will be agouti. So we have agouti and Himalayan. So since agouti is the strongest, she may express. So therefore, this is agouti. The phenotype will be agouti. But it carries genes for being Himalayan. So I'm just gonna keep my pen, go back to pointer. Next slide. So here we are now at the multiple choice part. So we're gonna test out these theories. We have Han Solo and we have Princess Leia. They had a son named Kylo Ren and we can also de see their respective blood types. The question is, what is the possible blood type for Kylo Ren? Now, he could be either be A, blood type A, B is B, C is A, B, then D is O. Now, how do we solve for this? There are two ways to look at it. First, we have to determine the blood type of Han Solo. So, there are two possible genotypes for the blood type of Han Solo, and there's only one possible genotype for blood type O, which corresponds to Leia. So, we now see the, squ the Punnett square right here. This is for the first possibility for the IA small i genotype of Han Solo. So here you can see the possible uh, genes of the offspring. How did we get that? We simply cross them together. So this is a monohybrid cross. Since you're only looking at the uh, at a single trait, which is blood type. What will be the phenotypic uh, exp what will be the phenotypic interpretation for this genotype? It will be blood type A. What about this one? There are two small eyes, therefore blood type O, the same with this one. Therefore, the phenotypic ratio is 50% type A, 50% type O. Now, for the other one, let's show the box. So the Punnett square here. This is for the second possibility if Han Solo has this genotype. So if you would notice, all of them will be blood type A, despite having alleles for blood type O. So, if Han Solo was this genotype, they would have 100% type A kids. So, with that, let's go back to the question. There are therefore two possible answers, letter A and letter D. Depende sa genotype ni Han Solo. Okay, we will now go on to the next slide. Well, still multiple choice, but on a man with wavy hair, blood type AB marries a woman with wavy hair and blood type O. Which of the following of which of the following is not one of their children? So these are the choices. So here we can see we have incomplete dominance, codominance, and multiple alleles all combined together in one problem. So you could see the notes right there. 
this one right here, this crossing, it's because I wrote down the uh, genotype wrong. It should be CSAB. Now here, I did a different way of expressing the genotype of the blood type. AO is still blood type A, but it carries an allele for being blood type O, but still blood type A siya. Dominant ang IA at IB. Recessive ang small i or blood type O. So there, these are the other possible ways of expressing those genotypes. So therefore, we have to do the FOIL first since we're doing Punnett square. Determine that all different alleles can be passed on by the man and the woman. So simple FOIL will do. Then plot them in the Punnett square. Afterwards, let's try to interpret what are the phenotypes of these organisms. Big C, big C. This combination is curly and it will have blood type. A. What about this one? SSAO. This means that the organism will have straight hair, because two SS, but they will have blood type A. What about this one? CSBO. A combination of curly and straight, therefore wavy, but they will have blood type B. But they can carry genes for being blood type O. So let's go back to the question. The impossible choice here would have to be straight hair with blood type O. Sure, we have children here who ha are possibly who have straight hair, but none of them are blood type O, meaning dalawang O na magkasama. So, wala. So, therefore, ito yung tamang sagot for the question, letter B. Going on to the next slide. We are now going to our bunny questions. Bunny questions. So we have a pure agouti bunny who made a happy bunny family with the chinchilla bunny who carries Himalayan genes. Determine the PR and GR of this pairing. We will now go to the solution slide. So I just wrote down the key for the levels of expression. Again, C is agouti, CH is chinchillian, H is Himalayan, and then small c is your albino. I like to put a bar to indicate that this is a small letter, a, low, a lowercase letter. So these are the, genoty the genotypes of the organisms. We cross them together and we get the following. Now let's try to interpret the, geno the genotypes into phenotypes. They have big C, but they have CH as well. Remember, C is our top dog here. It's the most dominant one. So this will have to be a gouty. Same here. What about this one? Big C, CH. Now here, we can see that we have two alleles, Himalayan and Agouti. But again, Agouti is the strongest one in terms of expression, stronger than Himalayan. So therefore, this will be Agouti. And this one also will be Agouti. So therefore, we may have this genotypic ratio. But in terms of phenotypic ratio, we will still have 100% Agouti. And they look like that, with that bunny. We will now move on to slide number six. So I'm at slide number six. I've seen the underlines. We have a bunch of bunnies again. An albino bunny made a happy bunny family with a Himalayan bunny who carries albino genes. BR and GR required. <coughs> so here we have, let's have the solution slide. We have this one right here once again. So, we have an albino one, so therefore two small c's. And then we have a Himalayan who carries genes for being albino. That's why again yung genotype niya. So again, mix them all together. We have Himalayan and albino. What is the phenotype of this organism? Remember, Himalayan overpowers albino. So therefore, this organism will be Himalayan. Himalayan as well. This one will be two small c's. Therefore, that's albino, also albino. So this is their geotypic ratio, and the phenotypic ratio is that 50% are Himalayan, 50% are albino. And here are some bunnies again. Going on to the next slide. Here we have problems on rabbit coat colors. So we are to give the genotypes of the parents. So we have the, what we have are the results, the genotypic ratio, rather phenotypic ratio of the offspring. So we have to determine the genotypes of the parents. So, number seven, chinchilla x albino. They have 16 chinchilla, 16 Himalayan. I now move on to number eight. Agouti Himalayan, eight Agouti, four Himalayan, four albino. 
Number 9, Agouti and Chinchilla, 12 Agouti, 6 Chinchilla, 6 Himalayan. So right now, I'm still on the slide. I'm just re reading the given. We now move on to solve for number 7. So for number 7, we have this particular given. What do we do? First, we plot out your, uh, your results. We were told that 16 were Chinchilla. 16 were Himalayan. That's why we have this particular genotypes right here. We were also clued in that the other one is albino and there's only one possible genotypic, uh, genotype rather, for albino, two small c's. So that's a given. Now your other organism has chinchilla, but we have no idea what were, are the genes for this one. You were told that the organism one of the offspring types was Himalayan. So here you put the Himalayan right here. Now remember how we did the crosses? If this one is a small c and this one is Himalayan, therefore the allele here would have to be Himalayan. Yeah. So the parents would have to have this particular genotype. Now here we have, for number 8, we have Agouti x Himalayan. And we have the following organisms. The biggest clue here would have to be the organisms being albino. Now let's show the first part of our solution, the blank, the blank square. So you were told that one organism is Himalayan, one is Agouti. So if we cross that, we get this one. So that's an Agouti organism. Now, automatic in this particular slide here, since this is in line with the Agouti allele, this will have to have a big C. And this one, since this one is in this area, this one will have to have a CH, the Himalayan allele. Now you were clued in that one of them is albino. When the, it, what, what do we mean when we say it is albino? Therefore, there will have to be two small C's here. And if there are two small C's here, this would mean that this one, the ones on the outside, would have to have small c alleles as well. Now, since we have completed that, we can now start filling up the whole table. And we would get the following. So, therefore, what is the genotype of the parents? The genotype of the parents would have to be this. Big C, small c, then C, H, and then C. And up next, we have our last problem right here. Please ignore my sketches. So we have number 9, Agouti and Chinchilla. We have 12 Agouti, 6 Chinchilla, 6 Himalayan. We have the blank square first. And then we have the following simplified ratios. I like to simplify the ratio so I know how many I need to put in my Punnett square. So the first one is that we have one fourth who is Himalayan. When we say one fourth is Himalayan, this means that in the same way we can put your Himalayan here. I'm just gonna write down Himalayan, Himalayan allele. And therefore, if it's right there, we can therefore conclude that the organisms, the, al the alleles, the alleles for the parents would have to contain Himalayan as well. So with that, we can now start filling up the whole table. So therefore, what is the genotype of the organisms? It would have to be this one, the ones on top. I kind of wrote down the wrong one on the PowerPoint, sorry. Now, these are the following genotypes of the organisms. So, we are now on the... Second to the last slide, please answer your practice sheets. And that we are expecting a worksheet by Tuesday. Kindly submit them. There's a submission bin on Genio. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Whatever. Have fun. Stay safe. Hi be hygienic. Sanitize. Bye bye.